Hey, we're live. <coughs> we're live on both Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, Facebook, for your patience, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, today is our one-hour kids special, our hour of pencil power. And I have I have this cool logo from when we did. The, there's our hour of pencil power logo. Our hour of pencil power. I'm still waiting for you guys to send me your ideas for logos. You go ahead and put it in the text box, okay? All right, so for our hour of pencil power, it's brought to you by your wonderful GoFundMe contributions. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your contributions. I'm going to go over the names. Look at all these wonderful contributors. <clears throat> we have uh, contributors here doing the uh, Draw 3D membership. Thank you for that. And our, our nonprofit organization, which is Imagination Initiative. All right. Um, coming up soon, I'm going to be doing a drawing from this book right here. From my You Can Draw in 30 Days uh, book, that's coming up. We're going to draw that human eye. I'm going to probably, I was going to do it today, but then Mario, Mario's up here. Mario, say hi, Mario. Hi. So Mario's in the house, and Mario's going to do a special drawing for us. So today we're going to draw the egg yolk, <coughs> the, uh, the uh, spilled milk. We're going to draw the buried treasure. We're going to draw Humpty Dumpty stuck in the mud, and then Mario's special. It's going to be cool. Here, this is, was a, one of our my uh, students from summer art camp a few years back. They did the uh, these drawings, and we're going to draw that human eye coming up this week, okay? All right, so welcome to our hour of pencil power. Let me get my paper up here. Let's get our squares, and let's get going. And I have one question for tell them. What? That's blood of spilled milk. This guy can clean up the spilled milk. Oh, yeah, Mario's going to do a drawing today that... Can clean up the spilled milk. Mario can Mario's gonna do a really cool drawing. I'm gonna put a dot in the middle of the paper. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. So it's uh there we go. Gotta kind of put it out. I gotta get myself some little more room here. Oh, I don't know why my camera's being difficult today. All right, we're gonna draw a line down the middle and a line across. So we have four squares. <coughs> and then for you guys on the uh, on uh, YouTube, you see four squares right there in the middle. And then right here in the center of, of the four squares, right here in the center, I'm going to put our logo right here. So we'll draw, that's what we'll do. We'll draw our logo. And then we'll start at square number one. So we'll move the camera so we can get that square number one right there. And I'll move this camera, zoom it in so we can get square number one right in there. And... There we go. Boy, I'm just having a, a heck of a time with this camera today. Um, all right, there we go. We're going to draw some spilled milk. So I'm going to draw I'm going to draw this guideline. Now watch this. A guideline going up here in direction. Right away, we know this is going to be in direction northeast. Remember, there's four directions that artists use most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. And Pam's going to put a link to the drawing compass to our... Uh, drawing compass link. This is a free printable from draw3d.com, and we're going to use these lines, these guidelines to help us draw. Now, <clears throat> from this point right here, I'm going to draw a, a, a guide dot. Guide dots are so helpful for me to be able to position and draw my drawings, okay? So guide dots are very, very handy. And now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, a, a four shortened circle right here. We're going to draw this spilled milk. We'll draw a glass of spilled milk. Now watch this. As we get smaller, now see how this is larger? It's going to get smaller as it moves away. This is called tapering. And also one of the words called size. There's 12 Renaissance words. And Pam uh, Stad, Stal, Stal, Stalder, thank you, my parent volunteer room mom. She's going to put a link to the Renaissance word um, chart that's on the Draw 3D. It's a free printable. These words are 500 years old, and if you learn them, you can draw in 3D, all right? Those words are so powerful. So this is foreshortening. That's one word. Everybody say foreshortening. Say foreshortening. Foreshortening. That's a great word, foreshortening. Basically, if you remember, I've been using my my student's Campbell Soup finger puppet. See the little puppet on your finger here? Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally, I pushed the wrong button. I'm going to try to hook my camera up. Uh, this is very difficult drawing with my phone and this. I'm going to try to hook another camera up. Sorry about that. 
<clears throat> so let me make this demonstration about the, the see this? This is my Campbell's Soup can, and then this is a foreshortened circle. See, that's squished. See, it's a circle, and it becomes squished. See that? It's a, the circle becomes more squished. So let me try to get this repositioned so you guys on Facebook can see. I'm just having, sorry I'm having so much trouble today, guys. It's one of those days. There we go. Let's try to get it so that you can see it a little bit better up there. All right, I think that's gonna work. Now, this is gonna be a, a glass of spilled milk, right? Well, that's not really helping you guys on Facebook at all, is it? All right, well, this is good. Best, let's do that. All right, now, so what I'm going to do right down here is I'm going to have the milk coming out. So I'm going to draw a foreshortened circle. Now, this is squish and distort, so watch this. Here we go. It's going to come out, and I'm going to draw this foreshortened shape. All right, foreshortened shape. And I want to find my, my uh, sample drawing. See, this is what we're going to draw. We're going to draw this water coming out of the or this milk. So I'm going to draw this foreshortened uh, liquid here. See, squish and distort. That's what foreshortening is. Squish and distort. And then right here, watch this. It's going to come way out. Come out. Look at I'm going to go wider. See, go wide right here. We want to make this look like it's flowing out on the ground. So I'm going to go really wide all the way to the edge. Come in and then look at this. I'm going to, I'm going to foreshorten it out again. And look at this is going to be a really cool little spill. But you know what? I want to make it, I'm going to have it come out a little bit more. Watch this. This is very squished. You're trying to keep it squished. Kind of keep it squished together. Squish it way out. Now, a lot of people make a mistake when they, they'll draw a great little cup right here, right? But then when they make the the the, the uh, milk, they'll, they, they won't squish it enough, Okay. So what I'm going to try to do is get you to foreshorten it more, get you to squish it. Someone write squish. Someone write squish in the text box. Someone someone type in squish. Someone type in distort. Uh, someone check YouTube. Is YouTube running? I think YouTube is running right now. Thanks a lot for checking on me. So here's squish and distort. A foreshortened circle coming around here. See some now here's variety. Some big, some small. See this? I'm going to use different shapes. And then I'm going to do something really cool in the next drawing. I'm going to show you how to make this, this foreshortened puddle of milk look like a, a hole in the ground, like you're, you're, you're digging for buried treasure. So let's take our stompy or our click eraser and let's clean this up. Oh, excuse me. Isn't this cool? Isn't this wonderful? Squish and distort, squish and distort. There you go. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Pam, can you put that link on there for the uh, Draw 3D uh, 12 Renaissance Word uh, printable and for the Drawing Compass printable? Thanks, Pam. Draw the four shortened circle. And then, now watch this. The, as it gets smaller and smaller, see it's larger here and it gets smaller. That's the word size. Someone type in the word size. That's such an important word. And Lauren, did you text your logo idea to <coughs> the Facebook? Yesterday, I posted a picture, just so you guys remember. Where is my, uh, I don't know where my actual, the idea is after I, after I draw this. Uh, hey, Pam, can you put a link to yesterday's uh, final image that's on Facebook? If you send, this is what how I want you to communicate with me, guys. I'm going to shade inside this little glass, inside the cup that's spilled. So what I want you to do, after I go live, I take a picture of the four drawings, and then, uh, oh, thank you. Okay, um, Lauren, just you just need to comment one time in the... Uh, uh, in that one area, and I'll and I'll try to take a look at it. Pam's gonna help me sort through those, put a shadow on the ground. So, once I post that picture onto Facebook, you in the comment area send me photographs of you uh, drawing with your family. Send me montages of all you guys drawing. I would love to see it. Love love to see it. And we'll put it in our e blast. If I don't respond right away, or if Pam or Amanda, my wonderful assistants, don't respond right away, we'll get. To, we will eventually. Okay. So thank you for being so patient with us. 
we're all uh, uh, parents at home with our kids, and we're we're just like your parents right now. We're we're running around making sure everything is cool and everything is safe and everything is nourishing and everything is going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay with with our families at home. Everything's going to be okay. Here, let's put the shading here. Look at that. Put the shadow. See the shadow? Did you love it? Someone say, ooh, I love it. No, look what's happening. Look at that. <clears throat> Every day. That's right. You're welcome, Ryan Sears. You're welcome. Every day. Every day. Our hour of pencil power for as long as needed. We will all get through this with creativity and family love and joy. Hi, Nancy Hayward. Hello, Nancy Hayward. I'm glad you're with us here. Tell, say hi to Jonathan and all your, and Kenneth and your daughter for us and and uh, Ken Sr., my dear friends in Vista, California. Here, put the shot on. Now watch, you're going to love this. You guys ready for something really cool? I want to make this look like water. Now watch what I'm going to do. Not from the end, but like you know, this is important because I'm going to be making a canyon in just a second. But right here, just put a couple straight vertical lines. And then right here, right in the middle, just put put a couple. Isn't that cool? Do you love it? We made it look like a reflection. Maybe I'll put one more right here just, just because I can. Maybe, maybe I'll put a couple. A couple little reflections. Isn't that neat, you guys? Do you love it? Now down here, I'm going to darken in down here, but I don't look at it. I want this to stand apart. See this? I want, I want this. I want this down here to be darker than this area here. So I'm going to go ahead and shade this. I'm going to use my blender. I'm going to blend it up. Someone type in the word blending. This is our hour of pencil powers. Hour. Someone's, someone say, yahoo. That's you right there. That's you enjoying pencil power. Someone type in the word, yahoo. Yahoo. Someone type in that word right there. This is so fun. You kids, you kids are such total amazing geniuses. Look at that. Is that cool? Is that cool? Or is that kind of scary seeing Einstein's head float by? Is that cool? Someone say type in cool or a little unnerving. <laughs> I love my paper puppets. You guys are so cool. Someone take your finger and say, aha. Someone, anybody say, aha in your house. Say, aha. Mario, say, aha. Oh, he's gone. I thought Mario was in here. He's gone. He went down to do something else. All right, square number two, you cool, crazy cats. Let's continue our journey, our voyage. Now, I want to draw that same shape, but I'm going to do something really neat with this. Watch. I'm going to draw the same shape that we just did with the milk, but this time, I think you're really going to like this because I'm going to draw. It's going to be almost identical to our shape. Uh, it's a squished foreshortened shape, but this time I'm going to make a hole. I'm going to do something a little different here. See what I'm going to do? Is we did that we did the spilled milk, but now look, we're gonna draw. This is a lesson I did a few years ago. I said hi to Jade and Michaela, but look, this time I'm gonna draw a hole. See, I'm gonna put the cliff side. So Mario's back, everybody. Mario, say aha. aha. There he goes. So we're gonna copy this shape. I'm gonna show you how to change those these vertical reflection lines. I'm gonna make them into the the actual uh, thickness on the on the canyon, okay? So it's gonna be really cool. All right, so we draw the canyon coming in. I'm gonna have the, a, a smaller edge of the camera, uh, the canyon coming out here. All right, now this, these are like four shortened circles. You see what I'm talking about? These are like four shortened shapes, four shortened circles, four shortened circles. And then um, over here, I'm gonna draw this canyon, but now I don't want these edges to come straight to right here. So I'm going to make this canyon. I'm going to have it go right there. See this? See this? I, I made sure that these two sides weren't straight across from each other. I offset them just a bit. All right. And I got that from a Disney artist who was kind of giving me some drawing tips. Uh, one of my old students, and he was showing me how to offset these things right here. All right. Now I'm going to come back around. I'm going to do the same thing. Look, I'm going to offset this. And then... And then I'll do uh, one more way out here. And then maybe look at this. All right, so that's gonna be a cool hole. Look at that, do you guys love it? We're gonna make this into a really cool hole. <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and on the edge, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of 
dark. Look at the edge. This is going to be edge of the hall. Put a little bit of like grass. Look at this. Some just a little bit of grass there. A kind of kind of grass drooping over the edge. A little bit of grass. This is texture. Someone type in the word texture. Uh, it's a ravine. That's right. It's like a ravine in Minecraft. That was a good Megan Calcott. That was a good observation. And we're going to be using foreshortening. That's a great word. Someone type in foreshortening. One of those 12 words. One of those 12 words. And I don't know if Pam was able to get that link to those uh, Renaissance words up. But if Pam, if you want to put it on again for that chart, that would be awesome. Put that on because these words are so important to make it look 3D. Commander Mark, someone said Commander Mark. So I got to put up my Commander Mark. Hello, this was me. This was me many, many years ago in 1985. It's Commander Mark, Secret City. You might remember the never ending mural. Remember the mural that I did right there? The never ending mural. <clears throat> and boy, was I ever that young. Then we did Imagination Station back in 1990, so uh, 2009. This series right here. We won the Emmy right here. Ooh, someone type in, ooh, the Emmy. This series right now is on Amazon Prime. If you guys want to take a look at it, Imagination Station, there's some wonderful lessons on the Amazon Prime. One of my favorite being the eccentric elephants. You can draw a bunch of herd of elephants, a bunch of elephant butts running around. Running, I think it's episode 23 on Amazon Prime. All right. So now we're going to put the thickness here. Brian, Brian uh, Mario, Brian, uh, and Melody, and Alex, and uh, uh, all the, his kids are on right here. Say hi. Hi. Curve right here. Hey, Brian, type in the name of your kids. Oh, look at that. Pam gave us the 50% code. If you guys want to uh, draw more with me for many, for many, 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 many months of cool drawing, 500 lessons, please support us. If you uh, are enjoying these hour a day drawing lessons uh, during this uh, <coughs> critical time, um, <coughs> feel free to support us. You can here's a fifty percent code. We appreciate very much your support during this time. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Draw three D has five hundred lessons. There's our fifty percent uh, code right there, fifty percent off. So thank you so much for that. We had some. Uh, some people actually sign up for the Draw 3D families. And I want to thank, thank them for signing up at the 50% discount. We had uh, Michael uh, Galea, Pamela Stoll. Thank you, Pamela. She's in the room right now. Brooke Dalton, thank you. Nori, or, she ordered my 30-second book online. Then You can draw on 30 seconds coming out. And Heidi Reese, thank you guys for your support, for your Draw 3D membership, and your uh, you can draw on 30 seconds pre-order, or you can get the Draw 3D book. Here, look at this. Watch this. See that? See how I'm curving these in? Look at this. I'm making this really cool canyon. See how that comes behind there? Do you love it? Love Someone it. say, what do you think, Mario? I like it. So I'm going to make it really dark in the hole. See this? I'm going to make it really dark here. I'm going to put my darkness first. I'm going to put darkness behind here first. See that? Let's put that dark edge I'm going to put the darkness behind there before I put the shading on the side. All right. <clears throat> Do you love it? And then we'll take our stompy and we'll kind of blend that up. Kind of blend that up. There's our making our hole here. Do you love it? Uh, Sam and Winnie are here for the second day in a row. Loving it. Thank you. Uh, Jay Doug, you're welcome for drawing an hour in, in, in uh, every day. And Kat. Uh, Katniss, thank you for, for logging on and your comments. Hello, Megan. And then, now watch this. I'm going to darken inside. We're having the light. Of course, I always tend to have the light coming from the top right up here. See? I have the light coming from the top right. So I'm going to shade inside here. I'm going to shade in here. It's going to get lighter and lighter as it comes out here. See? Lighter and lighter up here. Shade down here. It's lighter and lighter as it comes out. Now, I'm going to be using my Stompy to blend here. Are you guys excited about drawing with Mario? He's going to draw his uh, his floor, his uh, his big giant floor uh, sweeper mopper uh, thing. Uh, auto discover. Oh, you going to do something else? Auto discover. 
Oh, you're going to do a scrubber. Okay, he, Mario's going to do... I said auto scrubber. It's going to be the Mario's... Mario's going to take us out at the end of the day. He'll end us. He'll be the, our ending drawing. And you guys... Someone say hi to Mario. Hi. Someone say... Mario, say hi. Hi. All right, now I want to do some extra ideas here. Let's add... Oh, the fun part of drawing in 3D is always <coughs> to add extras. All right, extra, extra, extras. Extra, extra. So what are we going to do for this one to add extras? I'm going to draw a picture of... Uh, I'm going to draw... I'm going to have you digging for treasure, right? So this is a picture of one of you one of you guys here. And look at... You're, you're going to be down here. This is going to be so funny. Like, you're going to be down in the hole and you're digging for treasure. And and then I'm going to draw... Draw, like, your, your arms. Uh, swing in the shovel. Look at that. Some of the... Some, Mara, this is funny. Look at... Some, they're going to be down here in the in the hole here and they're swinging this big shovel and the shovel has a bunch of dirt that they're that they're, that's coming off here they're going to be thrown actually the the dirt's uh the dirt's going to go on this way right i could draw a better shovel than you did so here's the dirt the dirt's coming off here <clears throat> you guys are throwing the dirt look at that isn't that funny and you guys are swinging that, swinging that shovel. And um, here you are. You're all happy. You're digging for treasure down there. You're tossing the, tossing the dirt out. There you go. What do you guys think? Do you like you guys digging for treasure? Now, way back here, put the horizon line. Put that horizon line, and you know what I like to do back here is I'm going to make that darkness, and then we'll make it get lighter as it comes up. <coughs> Someone type in our hour of pencil power. We love drawing one hour every day. Yahoo, Mario. Say Yahoo. Yahoo. <laughs> say it louder. Yahoo. Yahoo. Days coming up. Here's some things that we can look forward to. We're going to draw penguins. We're going to draw. We did. We already drew sharks. We're gonna draw owls flying by. It's gonna be, we're gonna draw flying pigs. Maybe we'll just do a whole day of flying stuff. We're gonna draw dinosaurs. Look at this, we're gonna draw dinosaurs coming up here. Uh, oh, so many cool things we'll draw. Koala bears. Oh, we got a lot of cool stuff here. Um, how about, how about a big giant chubby, how about a, how about a ninja squirrel? Anybody wanna draw a ninja squirrel coming up? <coughs> we're gonna draw <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna draw maybe some toads and frogs. Um, how about how about some space kitties? Anybody want to draw space kitties? I don't know. Space kitties. There's I'm so many cool things. Words. We're gonna it's coming up later. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna draw the human eye. These are just all oh, such cool drawings that they're coming up. It's awesome. Awesome. Maybe we'll draw. Look, maybe we'll draw some. Like Dory the fish. Remember Dory? Do you want to draw Dory the fish? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Huh? Do you want to draw the fish? So we're going to have so much fun together. One hour every day for as long as needed, you guys. Someone say, aha! Aha! Let's jump to our logo here, guys. All right, for our logo, <clears throat> if I can find my sheet again, where is my... There's my logo. Okay, so since we're going to be drawing... Uh, we'll come back to the logo. I want to draw... Let's do the egg yolk. Now we're gonna follow the same idea. Oops, look at this. On this one, I didn't blend it. I didn't I didn't put a horizon. I'll go ahead and continue that horizon. Look at that. I'll just keep that. Look at that horizon will be the same. We'll just continue it. Do you love it? Someone tell me what you think. One through ten. Ten being fantastic. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you love it? Love it. All right. So let's go to square number next square here. And we'll move this down. And I'll move the camera down here. Um, I gotta move the camera down even more so that I can see it on the upstairs cam. Up here, two cameras, all right. Now for this one, I wanna draw the egg yolk. So I'm gonna draw, we're gonna use that same, I'm gonna show you using that same shape of foreshortened, uh, the foreshortened liquid above, the foreshortened whole cliff edges, the ravine. We're gonna use. We're gonna repurpose that same four short tonight. Someone type in repurpose. See everything I teach you, everything that you learn from me, kids. 
everything you learned from me, you can use over and over and over again. It's called transferable information, okay? This is like when you're uh, in school learning facts and figures and statistics. It's all transferable to other problem-solving situations. Transfer, I hope I spell it right, transferable. Parents, you homeschoolers, help me here. If I misspelled that, let me know. Uh, toads and Ninja Score, transferable information. Nothing like misspelling a word in front of thousands of viewers here. Thank you guys for your help. If I misspell it, you correct me. Spelling counts at transferable. I think that's correct. I don't have, I can't use my phone uh, dictionary because I'm using it for, I'll use you guys. You'll be my check. Did I spell it correctly? Transferable information. Put a dot here and a dot here. Now, not from the corner, come up higher. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to draw. This is what we're drawing right here. See that? See that yolk right there? I want to draw a little shark fin swimming in the egg yolk. But look at how it's the same shape as the water. It's the same, the milk, same shape as that the edges of the cliff. It's the same shape we're using. Isn't that wonderful? All right, so trans, there's someone type in transferable information. I don't see it yet. Someone type in transferable information. Uh, that word. Now, up here, go up high and draw the foreshortened, look at this, the foreshortened egg yolk. Okay, I'm going to make my egg yolk go all the way to the edge here. And then I'm going to pull it out a little bit right here. Look at it. Isn't this cool, you guys? See how the egg yolk comes out? Just to come, And then you can even do a little more, one more little bump right here. So that's going to be our egg yolk. I'm going to move this, this all down just a little bit so you guys can see it. What do you think, Mario? Is it pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? Huh? You feel okay? Okay. Now, so we, we're drawing the we're drawing the the egg the egg yolk. Oh, all right. Here, uh, we got to. I got to stop for one second because I got to get my fan turned on. Just a second here. We got to turn my fan on. We're getting hot here. All right, yeah, we, we're getting hot in the house. We gotta turn the fan on, all right. So now, let's curve the bottom. This is gonna be so cool, this egg yolks. So we're using that same foreshortened shape, our transferable information. And how many on Facebook do we have, you guys? You know, I love to get, I love to get a, a, a tally on how we're doing on Facebook. How are we doing? How many do we have on Facebook right here? Um, oh, well, thank you, Pam, for putting the, uh, the Amazon.com um, book. I think you put it in my You Can Draw in 30 Days book. Is that what you put on there? This is, this is what she's talking about, you guys. This is, uh, I finally, I've always dreamed about having my, having my bestseller, and we finally have it. It's so exciting. Thank you guys for making it a bestseller. Over a million in print. If you guys want to get a great book, there's my uh, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book right there. And uh, Pam, if you could put that link to Amazon to the 30 Second book, that would be great. Thank you. To put a shadow underneath here, guys. I am so so excited. I got a, a, a two uh, two emails today. I got an email from a school in Turkey in Instan Istanbul that they are they want me to do a uh, private YouTube uh, school live webcast. And if you guys are interested in me doing for your schools a private link, to, you send out this private link that to the uh, for your schools for your. Um, thank you for the support. Totally, I had three months of my bookings uh, canceled. So, of course, I'm like you guys. Everything helps. If you guys are interested in a school uh, live webcast, so we had a school in New Jersey who's going to set it up for next week. And then one in Turkey. So I'll be doing live assemblies like at 3 in the morning. So it's the right time in instant pool uh, in, in Turkey. <laughs> Sorry about that. And uh, here, shade of the suns. I'm having the sun come from up here on the top. So come on down. Come on down. That doesn't sound fun. We do these. Uh, I do different uh, lessons private for the schools in different 
and I could do it in different time zones of different countries. It's a virtual assembly. But you guys, you get you get me for an hour for free right here. So that's that that's wonderful. That's just if you want your school, want to do a, something special just for your school and help me out. Um, bless you. We love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. What do you guys think of your, uh, put the horizon line. We love the horizon line. What do you guys think of the egg yolk? Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Thank you, uh, Pam, for putting the you could draw in 30 days. Thanks. All right, let's go up here and let's do our logo. So we're gonna do an egg yoga. Uh, um, the we're gonna draw Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. So I'm gonna draw a little Humpty Dumpty sitting on a wall. And he uh, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall and got stuck in the mud. Uh, so Lauren says she's eating an egg right now. Well, that's funny. So we're gonna draw Humpty Dumpty sitting on the wall. So I'm going to draw the, the corner of the a wall here. So I'm going to draw a light line. Remember, here's the guide. We're going to do this, this line right here, coming up in direction northeast. You see, so draw that line in direction northeast, and then come down. We're going to draw this really cool corner wall. Do you love it? There's the corner of the wall. And then draw that. There's the wall. See, that's like a little corner inside of our logo. Every day we'll have a different logo. And then I'm going to show your logos too. Remember, if you want me to see your logos, um, send it to me in the comment box when I when I post this picture, which I'm going to post. Like I'm, what I'm trying to do is draw an egg shape here of Humpty Dumpty. Hey, have you guys ever seen that book, Eggbert? You have got to read the book, Eggbert. It's about an egg that's a little bit cracked and the other eggs and vegetables in the refrigerator kick them out. Pam, can you put the lo the link to Amazon to the book Eggbert on there? Eggbert. Um, I don't I don't even know that I remember the author's name. It's a brilliant book. It's a, a the, about this egg who gets kicked out of the fridge, and so he goes he goes all over the world, sending postcards back to his uh, his friends that he he wants to make sure that they eat, that they they still know that he loves them even after they kick him out of the fridge. So there's uh, his feet here. Here's Humpty Dumpty. He goes all the way. He paints pictures all over the world of him in Paris and him in, uh, you know, Egypt. And it's really cool. Oh, Pam, thank you for reminding me about the summer art camps. You guys, anyone in the world can sign up for my uh, virtual summer summer art camps. Okay, you just go to markkistler.com. You go to my... You go to my website right here, markkissler.com, and click uh, information. Um, hopefully, if you're in one of the, the, the state cities where I'm going to be at, hopefully, 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 we'll be able to meet as groups, and I'll do it in person. But this year, I've decided to also draw, uh, do my art camps virtual too. So every session, every day, every week, I'll be a, a virtual live webcasting, and you're more than welcome to sign up. And then what we're doing is just, um, I wish I could do it for free, guys. I wish I'm going to, I'm, uh, uh, but I am going to uh, charge a small fee. It's just the price of one child. You can have your whole family come for the whole week for as many sessions as you want. So if you sign up one of your kids for the summer camp, any week you want, you guys, any week, you can be anywhere in the world and sign up one child for one session. It's ninety nine US, ninety nine dollars US, and you don't have to pay the uh, three hundred dollars if you want. You know the half day with your child, or you don't have to pay the multiple fees for the kids. You get as many kids as you want uh, in your family. Okay, just for ninety nine US. And again, thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you families. I appreciate it. Here, draw the egg. Sun's up high. Let's shade the side. Shade. The, are you guys having fun with this? Uh, I didn't see. How many do we have on Facebook right now, you guys? Let's shade. Here's Humpty Dumpty waving. And this is going to be our hour of pencil power. So here, I'm going to have Humpty Dumpty is going to be saying it today. This is going to be Humpty Dumpty. I'm going to have Humpty Dumpty saying hour of pencil power. This is our hour. This will be cool. Hour of pencil power. This is our hour of pencil power what do you guys think and how many do we have oh uh, egbert all right keep looking hey uh pam how many do we have on facebook right now 
Yeah. You know, I love to f know how many artists we have drawing. And hey, guys, how many of how many of you are drawing with more than one person in your in your room? How many people are you drawing with? And tell me what state you're from. Would you guys do that? Send me a quote. How many kids? Tell me the name, last name of your family. Tell me what state you're. Just tell me what state you're in and how many are in your family. Um, hey, there's Egbert. Yeah, that's that. That is Egbert. Slightly cracked egg. The story of the slightly cracked egg. That's it. Thanks, Pam. It's wonderful. 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 Uh, hey. Uh, how many do we have? Well, we have 50. Wonderful. We have 50 in Facebook. Thanks, guys, for drawing with me. We have 100 people in, in, in YouTube right now, so that's fun. Thanks, guys. I'm going to put a little... You know what? I'm going to make this a brick wall. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put little bricks, kind of a slant. This is called grouping. Put a little group of bricks here and a little group of bricks here and a little group of bricks here. Little, Just, just a little bit, see? Just a few, don't, you don't have to do every single brick. Just a few bricks go a long way. Just a few, see what I'm doing? I just group them together, it's called grouping. It's one of those Renaissance words. One of those Renaissance words, there you go. Uh, oh, look at from Indiana, she has two, two kids in Taylor. We have Lucy and Ashlyn in New York, Toronto, Ontario, we have four kids. We have uh, Ashlyn and, and uh, Lucy in New York. It's just so great to see you guys. Thank you for sending me that note about where you're from. Brooklyn, uh, from Wisconsin with Chris. In Texas, we have D. Young, four drawing from Iowa. We have Jody Tarato with two. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Richard. Oh, Richard. Richard, thank you for joining us. We have one of our volunteers, which I'll talk about in just a second. Now, down here in our square number four, I'm going to draw a line because I'm going to do one more here. And then Mario's gonna do the last drawing. So we'll draw a line, right? I'm gonna draw two drawings here. I'm gonna draw one drawing here, and then we'll, we're gonna separate the square number four into two more. We're gonna do five drawings today. Now, right, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and write the, the logo. Uh, this is our Mark Kistler's Kids special. And I thank you guys for your uh, GoFundMe support. Thank you guys, I totally appreciate it. Thank you. Let me put up the uh, thank you real good. This is GoFundMe. Every 10 bucks or 20 bucks helps you guys. Thank you. I know we're all going through uh, crazy times, but every every bit helps and every bit counts. Where is my... Uh, oh, there they are. Here, here's my GoFundMe thanks, you guys. I just want to thank Terrence and Chris and Catherine and Shelly and Ed, Heck, and Lisa and Ms. All family, and John and, and Carol and Juliana and Nadia and uh, Anonymous and Danette. And I want to thank um, uh, Rebecca. And thank you, uh, Pam, for putting that GoFundMe link up here. And Misty and Dana, Tyler and Amelia Bug, thank you for your donation. And uh, Rachel Holmes. Rachel Holmes, thank you, Rachel. Uh, thanks so much for, uh, for your support. I totally appreciate it. Um, I have a couple of volunteers. Pam's one of my volunteers. Thank you for volunteering. Richard, thank you for volunteering. Help me as my global director of media relations. And Diane Kelly, we have two more volunteers. We're going to be talking with you today, Sherry and Melody. I'm going to talk to you. I need 10 total volunteers to help me keep going with this daily live. And I appreciate it. If you guys have some time and if you want to volunteer, let me know. Send me an email. Send me an email. All right, now. We're going to draw, here's my, Pam, can you put up my email? Can you put up mark at markkissler.com on the text box? Thanks, Pam. All right, I'm going to draw Humpty Dumpty having a great fall. <clears throat> so we have Humpty Dumpty on the wall, and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. So I'm going to take this, and let's put, uh, look at, how are you guys doing? You all right? I'm a little chatterbox. I'm like talking my, talking to little chatter chatter. How are you guys doing? You having fun? You enjoying yourself? Huh. Do you like my little clay Dopplinger? You like my little clay guy? Hi. Hey, guys. Someone type in, how are you doing? Do you loving it? Curve the bottom. Now, instead of doing the egg yolk again, I want this to be Humpty Dumpty falling into the mud. So I'm going to draw a curve right here. See, so I'm going to draw the, the foreshortened circle. Mario's sitting here. He's ready to come on live. And you're going to, can you not, uh, you, you need to bring your computer too? Over here, you're not going to have any room for it. <gasps> 
um, we, uh, we can put it right here. You put it right here. All right. Mario's getting ready to come on the screen for the last drawing. Now watch. This Humpty Dumpty is going to be stuck in the mud. Here's what we're going to draw. See this guy right here? See the little guy right there? Humpty Dumpty. What do you guys like it? Do you guys like Humpty Dumpty? Put some little small. This is small and a big one. Look at this. Variety. Some big and some small. Okay. Now, here's a small, medium, big. Now watch this one. This one's going to be huge. Look. Huge. So this is variety, some small and some big. Gonna do a little tiny one right here. And then, do you love this? Now, if this is the center of Humpty Dumpty, all these wrinkles go this way to the left, and all the wrinkles to the uh, on the right, they go to the right. See how that does it? And I did, I wanted to make sure that the wrinkles are different sizes. This is medium and small, this is a large one. So on either side of that vertical line, I used asymmetry, I made it, uh, a variety, a variation. So I'll darken in Humpty Dumpty's butt. <laughs> we're drawing, Mom, we're drawing Humpty Dumpty's butt. Here, let's draw the overlapping line for Humpty's foot. There he is. He's going to, that's the overlapping line. That, that's where his foot comes. And hey, hi, Pam. Look at everybody saying hi, Lisa. Hi, Pam. Now, back here, I'm going to draw Humpty's foot, kind of angling away. His foot's going to be, now this foot's over here, and this foot's smaller. Look, guys, that foot is a little bit smaller. It's further away. See, does that make sense? Does that make sense? That foot's a little smaller. Make this foot wiggling here. See, he's like, help, 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 I'm stuck in the mud. Someone type in, someone type in, help, I'm stuck in the mud. Help. Someone type that in. Asymmetry. Good job, Richard. Thank you, Mr. Volunteer. Richard, Mr. Art Instructor from School of the Ozarks. He's our, uh, he's our international media reach out person, volunteer, thank you. Here, shade the side, nice and dark, and then down here, get really light, get lighter as it comes up. Down here, get light, comes up and see that. Awesome, awesome, really cool. Now, as this thing jumps up, watch this. From right here, see this? Draw that little. See, and I'm not going to come straight across. I learned this from Tim Decker, a really cool Disney artist. I used to draw my horizon line coming from right here, but I'm going to move this back. Now, watch this. Isn't that cool? So you kind of lift it up a little bit. And that, see how it, move, it sets that egg right into the ground? Isn't that wonderful? Do you love it? Someone type in, ooh. Mario, can you say, ooh, that's a 3D, that's a pop-out moment. Someone say, aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. look at that, do you love it, you guys? Oh, I wish we could share cameras right now so I can see your drawings, but please, I'm going to post a picture of all these drawings, I'll, put, I'll post all these drawings on, uh, I'll post all these drawings on, um, on Facebook, all right, I'm going to put this. So I'm gonna pose. I'm gonna do a whole picture with all of all of them. All right, and then when I do that, you comment in the comment box and please put photographs. Put photographs now. If you don't get my newsletter, to see, we're gonna send out a newsletter. Um, there's uh, go to markusser.com. Wait for like a, you know a couple seconds, and a thing will pop up on the screen saying, "Hey, join Mark's newsletter." Fill that out, and you'll get it. We're gonna feature all of your pictures and all of your drawings. Then that's the simplest way is don't email me your drawings or pictures. Set, put Post them on the Facebook. That way I won't get inundated like I am. And it's, it's just hard for me to keep track of all the different platforms. So I love you guys. I'm going to have my son Mario come up right now. He's going to be he's going to be take us out, finishing us up. Uh, hey, Pam, if you can put the uh, school live webcast option link on the website, uh, we'd love to get that. Thanks, guys, for considering the. Uh, you Can Draw in 30 Days book. We appreciate it. Uh, thanks for considering getting a membership of the draw. Uh, there's your 50% code, right? The Kistler 50 Draw 3D. And as always, thanks for helping us with the GoFundMe. Really appreciate it. Any any 10 bucks helps if you if you value or less. Uh, sorry about that. Selena. <laughs> All right, next square. 
Mario's going to do the last square right here. So let's zoom in. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Mario's going to take us out with a really cool drawing. Anybody, I hope you guys all join us. He's he's awesome. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna zoom this in to the last square uh, down here, and then I'm gonna write this is Mar Mighty Mario. I'm gonna write this right here, Mighty Mario, Mighty Mario, and then this is Mario's Mario. area right here. Mighty Mario's dream. Mighty Mario. Okay, you ready, Mario? You go for it. There's your you here. Give me your laptop. I'll put it right here for you. Oh, you forgot to say something. Oh. Oh, that's a good one, Mario. I'm going to put it right here so you can see it. Oh, this is this is awesome, Mario. Okay. Oh, you want to put that up there? You can put that up there. Come grab a seat. Hey. Dad, tell them what the on the, at the farmer's gallon be the janitor. Well, okay. Can I tell him? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Say hi to everybody. Hi, here, put, put that up at the end. Let me, let me hold that for you. This. All right. Yeah, go, you can use that. Okay. Or you got your own. Okay. Hi guys. And don't move the paper. It's right. It's positioned just right for you. Hi guys. Well, I'm gonna show you guys a how to draw. Have you ever seen when you guys go to your school or your churches or? Your, have you ever seen at your school whenever they? After they do the capture, how you ever to see the 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 big machine comes out and it cleans the um the floors. It calls the uh, auto scrubber. Well, I'm not, that's what I'm gonna draw draw with you guys today. So I'm gonna start with the back. Here's the back. Draw the back for you. I'm gonna do the curve. That's the front part. And here's the seat. You do all the seat. I draw the seat and I do a little square and then I do another square. And I, I edge it. That's the where you fill it up at. And it's still in a row. Brian, if you hear me, I'm drawing your favorite stuff because you like might you might like this stuff. So that's the wheels. There's the thing it cleans it. The brush. Mario, uh, Yina says, "Wow, cool, Mario." And Lauren says yes, and Yuna says hi, Mario. Hi. And here's a squeegee. You supposed to have to squeegee to pick up the water. Make it one right this way. And that's the squeegee, guys. Mario, Heather Hernandez likes your drawing. Thank you. Say hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. And this, the buttons right here. The buttons on the seat. And uh, the tank, the, no, what you call it? The, the tank, the solution tank and the recovery tank. This is the solution tank and that's the recovery tank. And then and this the wheels are out right here. And this the wheels. Yeah, you have a stompy. A stompy? Yeah, yeah, stompy. Um, where is the stompy? Where is it? Let me see here. There it is. You had one. All right, and I'm gonna shave it very good. I'm gonna shave it. And put in that guy. Makes it look nice. Put in the squeegee. I'm basically you know, I do the whole thing. So we can stand out. The seat. I'm gonna do the seat real good. And then I'm gonna do the stern row. 
button, the button, the other side of it, or up. Mara, Sam and, Sam and Winnie, uh, Sam and Winnie are very impressed with how much you know about big machines, Mario. Well, how I know big, big machines, I used to, I, I love big machines because I go to the uh, my school and I, I help the janitors by cleaning the cafeteria, but I don't drive it. They, they just show me how to use it. <laughs> okay. That's so cool, Mara. Yeah. And there you go. Well, that's great. Well, sign your name right there to the in the area. Mario, Katie just said hi. Hey, what's your favorite machine of all the ones that you use? Me. Me? What's your yeah? What's your favorite machine, Mario? The year? Yeah. The vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaners? Yeah. Okay, now Miss Del J. Doug says it's cool you know so much about the tools and equipment of your profession. That's what J. Doug said. Okay. All right. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah. Bye. You guys, I hope you had fun drawing with us today. Mario say our pencil power. Our pencil power. Ooh. Thanks, guys. We love you. Stay together. Be patient with each other. Be creative. And together as families, we'll make it through this. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Say, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to say goodbye to...